In this video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to ad blockers, what they are, uh, why they're significant, and what are some of the legal issues to be aware of. Ad blockers generally take the form of a browser based plugin which the user downloads. Uh, when running, as the name would suggest, the advertising on a website is blocked and not visible to the user. There are various types of ad blockers. Uh, in addition to browser based ad blockers, there are also ISP level uh, ad blockers where the advertising is blocked at the level of the internet service provider as opposed to locally at the browser level. A significant proportion of revenue for online publishers is earned from display advertising. Uh, so when an ad blocker is running, that obviously affects a publisher's ability to earn uh, advertising revenue and can be very challenging for uh, publishers. Now the reason why ad blockers are so significant is because of the sheer volume of uptake. Uh, some reports have suggested that over the past two years the proportion of desktop users in the UK uh, running ad blockers has doubled to uh, almost 25%. And there are various theories as to why ad blockers are becoming so popular. Um, it may be due to customers being frustrated with the volume of advertising uh, being displayed to them, or because publishers feel that uh, sorry, or that consumers uh, feel that advertising is uh, irrelevant. Um, there are other theories that concerns regarding privacy uh, are also fueling ad blockers, whereby consumers are uncomfortable by being tracked across the uh, the web by uh, by ads. Now, to uh, to combat the threat posed by ad blockers, publishers have tried various things. Um, they range from politely asking users to disable their ad blockers to more aggressive techniques such as uh, disabling access to content if a user's uh, running an ad blocker. Publishers have also uh, experimented with uh, alternative commercial models, uh, things like paywalls or, or providing users with the option of an ad-free subscription model. Uh, and the, the degree to which those have been successful have uh, varied across the, uh, the industry. Uh, the desire to move away from traditional display advertising could also be fueling um, the development of innovative uh, ad formats like native advertising or branded content. Some of the commercial models operated by ad blockers have proved quite controversial. Uh, in particular, the practice of whitelisting uh, is quite controversial, whereby publishers can pay an ad blocker to have their domain whitelisted and the advertising made visible. That could be either a direct payment from the publisher to the ad blocker or by giving the ad blocker a share of the applicable advertising revenue. So that's raised um, many questions from people, uh, including publishers in particular, as to whether ad blockers and the practice of whitelisting is legal. Um, currently in the UK there's limited or no guidance from the UK courts or regulators regarding the legal position of ad blockers. Uh, there has however been some litigation in Germany under which the provider of the most popular ad blocking solution, Adblock Plus, has been subject to various claims from various um, online publishers that um, its commercial model and in particular its whitelist uh, is anti-competitive under German law. Now to date uh, all of those claims have been unsuccessful uh, apart from one um, under which the German regional court found that uh, Adblock Plus couldn't charge Axel Springer, the German news publisher, uh, in order to have its um, domain whitelisted. Um, currently, the, uh, those claims are being appealed to the German Supreme Court. Now, aside from the litigation in Germany, there may be a broader barrier to ISP level ad blocking uh, in the EU as a result of net neutrality regulations implemented last year. Under those regulations, broadly speaking, um, in, uh, ISPs aren't allowed to discriminate between um, internet content um, and there's been guidance issued uh, recently from um, a consortium of regulators in the EU that that would also include uh, ad blocking. The concept being uh, as part of net neutrality it shouldn't matter where the, whether the content is editorial content provided by the news media or advertising provided by an ad server, all content has to be treated equally. 
So as I say, that was a very brief uh, introduction to ad blocking. Uh, if you're particularly interested in this area, you can read uh, more about it in the article on the Bristow's website, uh, which contains more details. Thanks very much.